Back in Long Beach, I'm staying at the Gatonia, which is my Airbnb of choice here. And I'm here for the Raboff Institute, Los Angeles. I was here last year, it was my first base event after everything got shut down. I did a video, which I will link up to. And I'm having a great time meeting new students, seeing some students that have come back. And I just really enjoy coming down here. You know, Long Beach, it's not, you know, I live in San Francisco. It's not like it's a long trip down, but it's so fun to go to a different place in a different part of the state. I did recital last night at the Raboth Institute. I started off with a piece by one of my favorite composers for the bass, Lloyd Goldstein, and we've got this for sale in our sheet music store. I will link to that below. This is his arrangement of This Little Light of Mine. I love how it alternates between pizzicato, arco, lots of fun passage work. It's such an enjoyable piece to play. I also did a piece by Michael Kurth called Charles at His Leisure, also available in our sheet music store. And it's got these cool sonorities. You're plucking two or three strings at the same time. Uh, kind of a harp resonance to it, at least in my ears. A little bit of jazz, some really fun chords. And I just love playing this piece. It's become one of my kind of regulars when I go to bass events.
I also did a piece written by Sam Suggs, a wonderful composer for the bass, and he wrote this piece titled Droplet for my Intermediate to Advanced Discover Double Bass course, which is out. I'll link up to that here or here or somewhere. Uh, hey, like this by the way, this is a fun Airbnb. And this piece sits right at the neck block uh, almost exclusively, but it's amazing how much territory Sam covers in terms of music and sonority in this register. Another piece I did, I've done this at a few events now, is also from my Discover Double Bass course. It's titled Ensorcelor. It's by Donovan Stokes. It's this perpetual motion piece in 5-8. Starts off very faintly and you emerge, emerge, more intense, more intense, a little bit of heavy metal like most of Donovan's music, and then you just go away. It's about two and a half minutes, but it feels longer than that from the bass player perspective, at least for me. Thank you. 
Another piece I played also from my Discover Double Bass course is Decades End by Craig Butterfield. An incredible new grass, traditional kind of roots music bass player also teaches at the University of South Carolina. And this piece, we asked the composers for this project to think about the Raboth positions on the bass. And I've done a video about that, which I will link up to somewhere or down here. And, and Craig really took this idea and ran with it. It sits on the bass just incredibly well in the Raboth positions generally, but it sounds totally like Craig's music, kind of new grass Americana music. I love it so much decades and really fun to play.
I've been playing David Anderson's Capriccio number no. two for decades at this point. One of my favorite pieces. We are rolling out David's music and publishing it on our sheet music store. Hope to have this piece here soon. I don't think it's in the first round of what we've got coming out on the store, but it should be here soon. And just such a wonderful exploration of sonorities and tone colors and just a great journey for solo bass. And Celito, who organizes the Roboth Institute, she joined me for two pieces on this recital. We played a piece by her former teacher, Patrick Nair, and he wrote these double bass duets that are designed for students, beginner students into intermediate and advanced, but such musically interesting duets. And I went through and reviewed every single one of them. Recently, I will link up to that video and you can hear Celito and me play that here.
Salito and I closed out my recital with a piece by Andres Martin titled Tempo, also written for my Discover Double Bass course. And I've had Andres on the channel multiple times. I will link up to some of what we've done here. This piece is cool because it's written as a solo piece for beginner bass player, and then there's a more advanced kind of intermediate level bass player one in thumb position, and you can combine these two versions together to make a duo, which is what Silito and I do here. All right, it's been a fun time in Long Beach. Gaytonia, I'll miss you. Till next year.